Brian Schultz's second assignment with the Times Republican newspaper. I never had a bad feeling or any type of premonition. As the tank was about to set over the legs, I had a camera up to my face and was focused in on getting a good shot. Brian got the shot in a shock of a lifetime. As I heard the screams and the tank fell toward me, I was scared for my life. I turned and I ran as hard as I could. It was a heartbreaking moment. The pit drops in your stomach, you become nauseous. Almost immediately, uh, tears sprang to my eyes. It was the most sobering thing I'd ever seen in my life. Once the tower hit and you heard all the wreckage slam into the ground, the fear was instantly replaced with sorrow. Brian transformed from reporter to rescuer. Two men were on the tower when the tank came crashing down. Bill Stinchcomb was in the ladder more than 95 feet in the air. Alan Wagner was just below him on the rail. wasn't breathing when Brian got to him. While I was breathing for Alan and the chest compressions were occurring, I ingested a great deal of blood. There was no doubt in my mind that he was dead, but he had a mother, he had relatives who cared about him, and there was no way that anybody at that scene was going to let him lie there without helping him. Amazingly, the crane operator, Sean Cochran, and the other man on the tower, Bill Stinchcomb, were alive and conscious. I remember going backwards um, at a very high rate of speed. I really thought that that was my final day. But the safety ladder Bill was standing in saved his life. The inch thick steel bars acted like a roll cage and absorbed a lot of the shock of his near 100 foot fall. That would be like jumping off a 10 story building. It's a uh... It's a safety cage that goes up the entire length of the, of the ladder uh, to prevent falls. When I finally reached the ground, uh, the rest of the cage was, was completely collapsed except for about the last 15 foot of the cage, and that's the part of the cage I was in. I wasn't able to get out because everything else around me was crushed, so they had to cut me out.